What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be finishing off how to ship comic books. Uh, last week I did how to ship a single comic book. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to ship 25 to 80 comics. Now today in this video specifically I'm going to show you guys how to pack and ship 25 comics. These are 25 image comics, all issue number one. I just sold these. Uh, about $3 each, so $75 plus $20 to ship. This method here for 20 comics is about $15 to $20 to ship here in Canada, anywhere in Canada. And $50, uh, 50 comics or more might be upwards of $30 depending on the weight. So in this video here, I'm going to show you guys how to ship 25 comics, but you can use the same method for up to 80 comics. You just are going to want to split up the comics. So instead of packing all 80 together, you're going to want to do multiple 20, uh, 20 comic stacks and wrap them the same way. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But to do this, you are going to need a box. These ones here I get from Staples. I think 25 for uh, 60 cents each or something like that. You have to order 25 to get that price points. Um, so I do have two different sizes. This one here is, I don't know if it says it on, of course it doesn't. It is 12 by 9 by 3 inches. And then for my bigger mystery boxes, or if I have to ship more comics, usually it is um, 12 by 9 by 6 is the size of box that I use. So you're going to need the box. I do use four uh, comic backboards. Uh, these are just uh, ones. Instead of me recycling them, I do use them to ship. You are going to want to use... Um, painter's tape, packing tape of course, and this here is craft paper, that's what I use to wrap up my comics, and I'm going to be explaining that uh, right now. So this here, you can get a, I think a 600 foot roll for $15, so I just roll out what I need, slice it in half, the, the width of it in half, because it's twice as wide as what this is here, and I do get my sheet here. So, I'm just going to move these over for a second and show you guys how I pack them up. So first, I'm going to take two comic boards, put them in the center. I'm then going to grab 25 comics. So again, if you are shipping um, 50 comics or upwards of 80 comics, you aren't gonna want to take all 80 and wrap them up this way. You're gonna want to take multiple stacks of about 20 to 25 comics. The max I do is about 25 comics. And you're gonna wrap them up this way. So instead of you having one big wrapped stack, you're gonna have multiple 20 to 25 comic uh, stacks. So you're gonna take your comics, you're gonna put them right on the comic boards, and you're gonna put the other two right on top. That just makes it a little bit easier and a little bit safer. Uh, and completes it, uh, makes it square. So you are then going to wrap it up just like you would a Christmas presents um, with the painter's tape here. Okay, just like that. Now that isn't going to add a lot of uh, packing on the sides here. This is simply so my comics do not bounce around inside the box and it does make it a lot easier. So I always wrap up my comics like this. So again, if you're shipping 50 to 80 comics uh, or anything more than 25, I do recommend wrapping multiple stacks like this. The max I'll do is 25 and I'll create a brick just like you see here. Then I will take the box and I'll turn it into a box and put them inside. So now you're going to take your brick and you're going to slide it into the box here. Once you have it in here, you can see there's about an inch on both sides and a little bit on the top here. 
as you can see it goes a little low uh, that you do need to put some packing materials inside whether that be uh, craft paper that's crunched up that will work great which I usually use my leftovers of that or worst case scenario having some of my leftover bubble wrap tossing it in here as well but you want to make sure that this brick that we made is not bouncing around so you want to make sure that it is secured and it is in place before you fold everything up and you do tape and ship up the box. But this is the method that I use for shipping anywhere from 25 to 80 comics. Again, if I do uh, ship more than 25, obviously I'm gonna use a bigger box. My other ones here is twice as big and that one I will do multiple boxes of this. I'll put one in and I'll put the other one right on top and then I'll put the packing material around it, making sure everything is nice and safe and then I will box it up and seal it to be able to ship. Again, in Canada, um, to ship this anywhere in Canada, from Canada, is gonna cost, uh, if it stays in my province, it's gonna cost about $15. If it's out of province, it's gonna be about $20 depending on the weights. This here is about two kilograms, something like that up to 50, uh, 50 comics is about five kilograms. So depends on the weights as well. 50 comics or more is going to be around 25 to $30 or more, depending on how many comics you are shipping and where it's going. If it is going to the United States, it's even more. So shipping from Canada to the United States, this box here might cost me roughly $30 whereas 50 comics might cost me $40. It also depends on the weights, but this here is the right way and the way that I ship my comic books whenever I'm shipping multiple copies or multiple comics, sorry. Whether it's a mystery box or somebody's just buying multiple comics from me, this is how I ship them because I've never had an issue of any comics arriving damaged, any comics arriving uh with anything wrong with the box even. So this is how I ship them. And just like last week, how I showed you guys how to ship a single comic, that is how I ship it. That is falling in line with the right way how to ship it, but also my own take on it. Some people won't uh, probably wrap it before they put it in the box. Some people probably will pack it completely different. That is fine. As long as you're wrapping it and you're doing everything in your power to make sure that your comics and the stuff that you're shipping arrives to your customers without any damage. And comic books can be damaged very easily, so you do want to take extra precautions, which is why this is how I do wrap my comics. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this one here. Please take care. Peace.